you cannot win the football game unless you score more points than the other team. You cannot be recognized as an honor student unless you have a GPA of at least a 90. You cannot be considered popular unless you have more friends than your peers. Boys, we live in a competitive world. Now whether it's fair or not fair that this is the world we live in, it's irrelevant. We're looking at reality, and this is what's around us. This is what is constantly being presented to us, and we need to understand how to respond to competition. And really, if you think about it, competition is built into our DNA, right? Survival of the fittest. We are literally standing here today because something about us was uniquely different about people that were not able to do what we were able to do. And we've shown, history has shown that our people, right, have the ability to withstand anything that's thrown at us. Now the thing about competition is when it works, when you are successful in the competition realm, it's unbelievable. There's nothing like scoring that game-winning touchdown at the end of a game, right? You throw that pass, yeah, let's go, right? Why is it that the only thing we know how to say when we do something in sports is let's go? We can't think of anything else but let's go. Where are we going? I don't know. Let's go. Okay. Right? There's nothing like so when, you, when you do well on a test, right? You get that 98, 99, whatever you get on the test. And then the teacher writes out the paper, Mitsuyan, smiley face, yafe, right? Grandma gets to put on her bumper sticker, my student is an honest student at Yeshiva school, right? We love it, we're great, it's fantastic when it works. But what happens when it doesn't work? What happens when you are in this competition and you fail? How do you respond? And what do you really do in those moments? About four years ago, I entered a football tournament with other Syrian players. We were the Syrian team in an Ashkenaz tournament. And we dominated. We were undefeated. We obliterated every single opponent that came at us, and it was a fantastic day. Everything from the tournament organizers, <coughs> to the referees, to the field, to the football that we were using, everything, every detail that went into that day was perfection. And I had no issue with it. The following year, we entered the same tournament. We went one and two. We didn't make the playoffs, and I was upset. And I was upset is an understatement, and the things that I said that day, I still regret, till today. I said things like, it must be that they don't want the Syrian team to win the Ashkenaz tournament. It has to be, and at the time it made so much sense. Of course they don't want us to win. Right, we're the Syrians, it's an Ashkenaz tournament. They don't want us to win their tournament. But then I thought about it, right, later, later, after. What are you talking about? You won it the year before. They didn't have a problem with you winning it then. Now all of a sudden there's a problem. And I started to realize, boys, when we are in this competition realm, every single day, day in and day out, we have to compete. You know what the problem is? We have no idea who we are competing against. We haven't the slightest clue. <laughs> because if you told me that I'm supposed to compete against the referee, I'm supposed to compete against the teacher, you'd guys have had some legitimate beef about some of the things that we come up with when we fail, right? It was the referee's fault. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know the referee was the guy who dropped the ball in the end zone. Oh no, that was you. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know the teacher forced you to not go um, and study 
and instead you chose to go to your friend's birthday party. You're right. It was the teacher that made you do it. You're right. I'm so sorry. I'm wrong. We have to realize something, boys. We are in control of the way we act and the way we perform. Nobody can tell you how to respond to a situation. Maybe the situation isn't so fair, but nobody can force you to answer or to respond other than yourself. Michael Jordan, right? Famous story about Michael Jordan. He was cut from his high school basketball team. You're telling me the guy wasn't good at basketball? He's the greatest basketball player of all time. The guy wasn't good enough to be on a high school team? What are you talking about? Right? Walt Disney. He was fired from his newspaper company because they said he lacked creativity. Boys, the guy created a mouse and he put it on TV and my two-year-old daughter won't stop asking me, Daddy, I want Mickey. Daddy, I want Mickey. He wasn't creative enough. The guy's got his own make-believe land that I pay thousands of dollars to go see. If that's not creative enough, I don't know what is. But boys, this is what these men did. They looked around the room and they said, who am I competing with? And they eliminated everybody and anybody other than themselves. Because when it came down to realize why is it that I was cut from the high school team? Why is it that I was fired from the newspaper uh, company? It was very easy for me to blame somebody else, but that would not have helped my cause and my ability to control my own destiny. Every single day, we want to be successful. We've defined success before. Success is if you can wake up just a little bit better than the did you day before. Just a little bit. It doesn't have to be huge. We just have to gradually get a little bit better. And the only way we can do that is if we can eliminate everybody in the room. It's not the teacher. It's not the coach. It's not my parents. It's not my friends. It's nobody else's fault but my own. Because I can control the way I respond. I can control my own actions. I'm the one scoring the touchdown. I'm the one who's either choosing to yell at a teacher or to not yell at a teacher. Again, doesn't always have to be the most fair of situations, but how do I respond in that moment? And if the answer is it's not my fault, so you'll stay at where you are because it's not your fault, so everybody else around you is gonna learn from the experience because it was their fault, and you'll stay where you are. Or we can eliminate every single person from the room. And the only one competing in this competition is me. And if I'm able to do that, if I'm able to withstand smacking my face against the pavement and dealing with the embarrassment of failure, well then you're that much closer to controlling your own destiny and getting that much better than you did the day before. Thank you.